Hey everybody, welcome back to Dog Talk where we empower you to help your dog live longer. So you're just about to switch to raw, you want to make your dog live longer and you want to make the transition but you don't really know how, we got the answers, just stay tuned. Okay, so today we're gonna to be talking all about transitioning to a do-it-yourself raw diet because hopefully by now you've already made the decision to switch in order for your dog to thrive rather than just survive. Switching to a raw food diet is so easy, you just need to follow the basics and a few simple rules. All right, so first of all, if you are thinking of making the switch to do-it-yourself raw diet, please, please, please make sure that you have researched enough to dive in to do it yourself. Just make sure you got a couple of recipes that you know meet the nutrient requirements of your individual dog, or a dog in general. Or many dogs. <laughs> yeah. There's plenty of great pet nutritionists in the field that can help you with raw diets, that can make a recipe, or that can just give you a general recipe that meets the general requirements of dogs. And if you don't feel quite ready yet to make do-it-yourself raw, you can always just start with a pre-made raw. That's how we started. That's how we believe it is actually a good way to start into raw because mm -hmm. like you're feeding a better diet, but you're not taking all the responsibility on you yet. If you haven't had the time to research it thoroughly, which is absolutely fine. Like I said, we did the same thing. Just do a pre-made and you might just do a pre-made just um, all together if that's better for you. I hope you got the point. Mm -hmm. So let's pretend you know what you're doing and you're ready to switch your dog to a do-it-yourself diet. You've got the recipes and you're ready to go. So first off, there'll be people that will tell you to just switch your dog cold turkey on a raw food diet. We don't really agree with this method as we believe that feeding a raw food diet or transitioning to a raw food diet should be done in a gradual slow manner yeah because actually like whenever you feed something new to the dog oh okay my god <laughs> she's smelling the treats in my hand so when whenever you make a switch to like a new food or a new ingredient like a major new ingredient like a new protein or something it should be kind of implemented in a slow way just to not upset the stomach too much so we're going to show you today how to make the slow switch when switching your dog to a raw diet we believe that it is a good idea to start actually adding probiotics and digestive enzymes into your dog's food before you even make the switch just to kind of like heal the gut already before you make the transition all of our dogs can use some more pre and probiotics so just a side note yeah so great examples of this would be actual supplements from the adored beast probiotics or one from dr Mercola. you could add whole food supplements like kefir raw goat's milk you can add kombucha fermented vegetables yeah fermented vegetables exactly yeah. you can also add apple cider vinegar actually we really like adding apple cider vinegar to the food when you transition because it just really helps your dog's gut to adjust to the new food as well. Something that you can do before you even make the switch to raw is that the day before you fast your dog. This is optional. If you don't want to fast your dog, you don't have to do it. Larry does not want to fast Milka, but I do it when he's not home, when he's not looking. Fasting the dog uh, actually really just gets rid of all the waste that is left in the dog's body from the kibble. Just like kind of you know, a fresh start, you know, and it also makes the dog hungry. So if you have a dog that is really picky with the food, then I would think that it is really a good idea to fast the dog just to make sure that the dog is hungry and that the dog will actually eat. More likely to yeah, eat the food. Yeah, exactly. Your dog will be more likely to eat the food if he's really hungry. So your dog won't die from feeding, not feeding your dog once, one time. It's really beneficial actually to fast your dog once a week, but mm -hmm. we can talk about this another time. So you're ready to switch. Now there are four levels that you must play to win. Level one. In level one of the transitioning game, you simply deduct 25% of your dog's kibble bowl and exchange it with 25% of raw food. This could be turkey breast, chicken breast, whatever you do, just stick with the one protein source for the first, let's say two through three weeks so that your dog can really get used to one protein at first and then you can introduce another. Level two. So now level two is going to be replacing or removing an additional 25% 
of the dry food and replacing it with 25% of raw. Now this will give you a 50-50 ratio. You can now introduce raw meaty bones if your dog's poop has been consistently solid for a few days. Level three. All right, in level three, you're gonna take another 25% of kibble out of your bowl. You guessed right. You're gonna be at a ratio of 75% raw and 25% kibble at this point. And you're definitely gonna start to introduce some raw meaty bones to your dog now. And examples of that are chicken feet or chicken uh, necks that are an all-time favorite for Milka, so. Level four. All right, now in level four, you finally made it. You are going to transition your dog to a completely raw food diet that is 100% raw. Wow, awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations guys, you've made it to uh, switching your dog to a completely raw diet consisting of muscle meat, raw meaty bones, and vegetables. vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> now that your dog's poop has been consistently firm, you can now introduce organs yeah. such as liver and kidneys to the diet as well. Yeah, and also another protein source if you want to. Okay, so now something very important, rules. We call them the three, it's three rules, three scoop the poop rules of transitioning. And they're very important, make sure you listen to them as well, because if you don't, then it might get loose. You see what I did there? <laughs> So rule number one, if at any level your dog's poop becomes runny, take a step back, feed the reduced rate until your dog's stool becomes solid. An example for this would be if you are at level two right now and you are feeding a 50-50 ratio and your dog has runny poo, this is a sign that you're going too fast. So you're going to go back to level one, feed a ratio of 75% kibble, 25% raw, and stay at that level until your dog's poop gets solid. And then you can transition to the next level. Just a side note, runny poo means runny poo. Yeah. It doesn't mean softish poo where you can still see the shape of it. Like runny poo means you having trouble picking it up. There's a small but important difference between runny poo and loose poo. So make sure that if your dog has diarrhea, basically like runny poo, <laughs> make sure you go one level back and don't advance to the next level until your dog's poop gets solid. Typically older dogs and dogs with a history of stomach upset, they will need a little bit longer and they might have runny poo more often. So just make sure like there's a, there's an unwritten rule that says the older the dog, the longer that transition goes. And we'll talk later about how long actually the transition should or will be. So rule number two. So if your dog's stools are on the softest side, you can continue to feed the current ratio until the stools become very solid. Rule number three. Once your dog's stools are nice and firm, you can advance to the next level. Doo -doo 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 -doo. And add more raw food to yeah. the bowl. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so now you hopefully know the four levels of the transition and you know the three rules that determine when you can advance into each new level. Let's talk about how long a transition to do it yourself raw should actually take. So during the transition, it's really important to remember that every dog is different. Now, typically it can take between seven to 10 days, depending on the dog that's you're transitioning. Yeah, but if your dog needs more time, then just give him more time. It's completely normal. And there's nothing wrong with that. And your talk, dog will tell you based on the poop rules. Yeah. <laughs> really take your guidance of your dog on this when you transition. The rule of thumb, as I said already, is the older the dog, the longer the transition will take. Puppies, for example, can be switched over right away, especially if you're getting a puppy and you're not really sure what they ate before. You can make the switch like a puppy, meaning like under one year old. You could make the switch right away just because they have it. They don't have this build up of years and years of kibble and their gut is still quite healthy. So they can usually be switched. And especially if you do a do it yourself raw switch, if you're not switching with a pre-made raw, then it would be a good idea to make the switch right away or at least include raw meaty bones right away because puppies have a higher 
yeah, a higher need for calcium. And if they don't get their calcium for these 10 days of transition, it's, it might be a problem. So if you have puppies, just transition them right away. Of course, if your puppy is ha telling you like this is a problem for me, then take it a step back. But definitely try to at least give some, some raw meaty bones. You don't have to include organs right away, but raw meaty bones are important for puppies. Or you could also add bone meal. Instead of raw meaty bones, you can add bone meal or bone dust. Adult dogs, they have their, their immune system is already a little damaged most of the time. The gut health, if they've been on, on a commercial dog food for a while, they need to transition longer. Puppies usually don't need that. So just want to make sure that's clear. Now, it will depend on your dog, how long the transition will be but just scoop the poop and evaluate. Now we want to hear from you. Are you ready to make the switch? Are you hyped enough? Are you ready? Us, yeah. Are you ready to switch? Let us know in the comments and let us know in the comments as well if you're not ready to switch so we can help you kind of clear up the confusion that is still there or the worries that you might have. Just let us know in the comments and we'll get back to you because we want to help you one dog at a time. That's our thing. Thank you so much for tuning in. Just make sure you smash on the subscribe button, like this video. And continue to be the proactive, awesome pet parent that you know you are and we know you are. That's right.